Oh, another video proving that Steven Anderson's new IFB cult, that the I doesn't belong in the new IFB. Essentially, there's no independence with this group whatsoever because clearly the founder and Pope is Steven Anderson. Plain and simple. And you're going to see in these clips I'm going to show, this is taken from a channel called Dirty Donnie, not an endorsement of the channel. I don't know who made it. And as far as I'm concerned, it seems like the person who made it could just be a, you know some lost person. But they put together a video of basically a compilation of clips of these new IFB goons, essentially just using Pastor Anderson as a reference for, you know, pretty much almost everything. It's just Pastor Anderson, Pastor Anderson, Pastor Anderson. All these new IFB goons are always citing Pastor Anderson. It's always Pastor Anderson, you know? I mean, it's rather cultic to say the, to say the least, essentially. You know, I mean, what happened to being independent? But you see, it just goes to show that there is still this, this kind of headship that Stephen Anderson has over the new IFB. There's no independence. The Pope is Stephen Anderson. It's not the Word of God that's the final authority. It's Stephen Anderson's view of the Word of God. So check this out. This is uh, their little compilation of just these new IFB goons constantly referencing Pastor Anderson. It gets so excessive. Check this out. Manly Perry's the biggest hypocritical flatterer. He preached a sermon called Why I'm an Andersonite, which is a stupid sermon. Why would anyone pronounce themselves to be an Andersonite. Labeled Andersonites. I didn't call myself that. Plenty of others sure do. Pastor Anderson. 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 Pastor Okay, that's not what you call an independent, you know, local autonomous movement where, you know, just a bunch of people who believe similarly. No, it's clear that this is a denomination and the head of it is over in Arizona named Steven Anderson, plain and simple. And not to mention the fact that most of these, these new IFB puppet pastors who are more afraid to offend Steven Anderson than offending God don't even meet the qualifications in 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 7 and Titus chapter 1 verse 5 to 9 because a lot of them are very immature, very childish and essentially behave like you're, you know, some kind of high school jock. It seems like they haven't left that mentality. A lot of them are not even qualified. And a lot of them, you know, Essentially, I'll put it this way. Without the internet, there'd be no new IFB. A lot of these guys have no power from God whatsoever. They have power through the internet. They have power through the electricity that goes into their Wi-Fi routers. That's the truth of the matter. That's why they're always having to reference Pastor Anderson because, well, there's no Holy Spirit in this movement. And I speak as somebody who was part of this movement for almost three years, okay? This group is essentially just the cult of Pastor Stephen Anderson. See, all these little churches just mimic the spirit and mimic the kind of talking points from Stephen Anderson. There is no independence in the new IFB. The I doesn't belong there because there's no, really there's no higher authority than Pope Stephen Anderson. So I wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by this cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.